In the world of global technology, few achievements are as complex and prestigious as mastering the skies. The ability to design and manufacture a commercial jet engine is a true test of a nation's technological prowess, requiring decades of research, billions in investment, and the coordination of thousands of skilled engineers and scientists. For years, only a select group of countries, primarily in the West, could claim this milestone. Building your own commercial jet engine is not just a technical feat, it's a symbol of national pride and industrial maturity. For decades, the skies were dominated by Western giants like Boeing and Airbus, whose powerful engines and advanced aircraft set the standard for global aviation. Their dominance shaped the world's airline routes and supply chains, leaving other nations dependent on foreign technology. But on January 1, 2026, China changed the game with the unveiling of its CJ-1000 engine, designed specifically for the C919 passenger jet. This was more than just a technical achievement, it was a bold declaration of China's intent to achieve technological independence and reshape the global aviation landscape. This breakthrough isn't just about engineering, it's a statement of national ambition and a direct challenge to the long-standing Boeing Airbus duopoly. By developing its own engine, China is signaling that it's ready to compete at the highest level. A homegrown engine frees China from reliance on foreign supply chains and reduces exposure to geopolitical risks. It means that the C919 is not just assembled in China, but truly made in China, from the inside out. A powerful symbol of self-reliance and innovation. But the implications go even further. This achievement is about more than airplanes. It's about national security, economic power, and the ability to control the future of Chinese aviation. It's a strategic move that could shift the balance of power in the global aerospace industry. With the CJ-1000, China is no longer just a customer of advanced technology. It's now a creator, an innovator, and a serious contender in the global aerospace arena. This marks a new chapter in the story of Chinese industry. The world is watching as China takes flight on its own terms, determined to shape the future of aviation and claim its place among the world's aerospace leaders. The C919's journey began in 2008, at a time when China's aviation dreams were just taking flight. The country's leaders saw the skies as the next frontier, a place where China could prove its technological prowess and reduce its reliance on foreign giants. The ambition was clear to create a homegrown jet that could stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's best. For decades, Boeing and Airbus had dominated the narrow-body jet market, shaping the global aviation landscape and leaving little room for new challengers. China set out to break this duopoly, determined to carve out its own place in the skies and reduce its dependence on Western technology. Comac, the state-owned builder, was tasked with this monumental challenge. Its mission to design and manufacture a world-class jet that would serve China's rapidly growing aviation sector and eventually compete on the global stage. Teams of engineers worked tirelessly, fueled by national pride and the promise of technological independence. But from the very start, the C919 was a paradox, an aircraft designed and assembled in China, yet powered and equipped by Western giants like Honeywell and Collins Aerospace. The jet's sleek exterior hit a complex web of international partnerships and dependencies. The most critical dependency was the Leap 1C engine, built by CFM International, a joint venture between GE and Safran. This advanced engine was the heart of the C919, providing the power and efficiency needed to compete with established rivals. Yet, this foreign engine was both a blessing and a vulnerability. It enabled the C919 to take flight but it also left China's flagship jet exposed to outside decisions, shifting regulations, and the ever-present risk of export controls. Every C919 that rolled off the production line was a symbol of progress, and a reminder that while China could build the body, it still relied on others for the heart. This dependence was a source of frustration, but also a powerful motivator. Determined to change this, China poured resources into developing its own jet engine technology. Teams of scientists and engineers worked around the clock, driven by the vision of a truly independent Chinese airliner. The quest for the CJ-1000 engine was born out of necessity, not just ambition. It represented a bold step towards self-reliance, aiming to free China's aviation industry from foreign control and secure its future in the global market. The ultimate goal was clear, 
true independence in the skies, where China's jets could soar on engines built at home, powered by the nation's own innovation and determination. Choosing the Leap 1C engine was a calculated risk for the C919, it gave the jet world-class performance and reliability, but at the cost of deepening China's dependence on Western technology, the Leap 1C was co-developed with Comac, tailored specifically for the C919, making the partnership even more intertwined. This collaboration allowed the C919 to enter service quickly, but also exposed it to global supply chain disruptions and political leverage. As US-China tensions grew, the engine became a strategic vulnerability, subject to export controls and political decisions in Washington. The C919 success was now tied to forces far beyond China's borders. The lesson was clear. To secure its aviation future, China needed to control its own engines. The push for the CJ-1000 became urgent. Enter the CJ-1000A, a high-bypass turbofan designed by the Aero Engine Corporation of China AECC. AECC's mission, break the foreign monopoly on jet engines and power the C919 with Chinese technology. Developing the CJ-1000A meant overcoming huge technical hurdles, especially in materials, science, and turbine blade manufacturing. The engine's design mirrors Western models, but matching their performance and reliability is a massive challenge. Recent ground tests have shown promise, moving the CJ-1000A closer to flight certification. A successful homegrown engine would make the C919 a truly sovereign product and anchor China's aviation ambitions. The CJ-1000A is more than machinery. It's China's declaration of technological independence. The CJ-1000A operates like any modern high-bypass turbofan. A giant fan pulls in air most of which bypasses the core to generate thrust. The real innovation lies in the engine's single crystal turbine blades, able to withstand extreme heat and stress. AECC's Shanghai facilities have become the heart of this effort, bringing together top scientists and engineers. Billions have been invested in research, manufacturing, and testing to make the CJ-1000A a reality. The first versions may not match the Leap 1C in every metric, but operational safety and reliability are the immediate goals. Performance improvements will follow as the engine matures. The ultimate test, the first flight of a C919 powered by the CJ-1000A. That moment will mark China's true arrival as an aviation power. In 2025, U.S.-China trade tensions hit the C919 program hard. The U.S. suspended export licenses for Leap 1C engines, halting C919 production and exposing China's vulnerability. Beijing condemned the move, while Comac faced immediate uncertainty. The standoff was short-lived. China's rare earth mineral exports were just as vital to the U.S. aerospace industry. By July, both sides eased restrictions and engine shipments resumed. The episode was a wake-up call for China. Foreign partnerships could be disrupted at any moment. It reinforced Beijing's resolve to accelerate the CJ-1000A and achieve true self-sufficiency. The lesson was clear, control every critical component, starting with the engine. The future of Chinese aviation depended on it. By early 2026, the C919 is a regular sight in China's skies, serving major cities and carrying millions of passengers. The fleet has grown rapidly, with production ramping up to meet demand from China's top airlines. For now, all C919s fly with imported Leap 1C engines, and operations remain within China due to pending international certifications. The C919's debut at the Singapore Air Show signaled its global ambitions, even as it awaits overseas orders. Transitioning to the CJ-1000A will be gradual, starting with test aircraft and extensive flight trials. Only after proving safety and reliability will the new engine be installed on production jets. For years, Leap 1C and CJ-1000A-powered C919s will fly side by side as China's aviation industry evolves. The journey to full independence is underway. A C919 powered by the CJ-1000A will disrupt the global aviation order. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated, but China's domestic market is now in play. With a homegrown engine, Beijing can direct airlines to buy Chinese, securing a massive market for Comac and challenging Western giants. International certification is the next hurdle. Success would open doors across Asia, Africa and Latin America. 
the C919 could become a symbol of non-alignment, offering an alternative to Western technology. Western suppliers may be replaced as China pushes for full self-sufficiency, reshaping global supply chains. The rise of a fully independent Chinese aerospace industry introduces a powerful new force in global trade. The world must adapt to a new era of competition. The CJ-1000A's success is a milestone, but the road ahead is long. This achievement marks a turning point for China's aviation industry, but it's only the beginning of a much larger journey. Developing a world-class jet engine is a feat that few nations have accomplished, and it signals China's determination to compete at the highest level of aerospace engineering. The engine must prove itself through rigorous flight testing and meet tough safety standards. Every component will be scrutinized and reliability must be demonstrated over thousands of hours in the air. Only then can the CJ-1000A earn the trust of airlines and passengers worldwide. China's breakthrough signals a new era. Boeing and Airbus now face a credible state-backed rival. The global duopoly that has dominated commercial aviation for decades is being challenged, and competition is set to intensify as China's capabilities grow. This will drive innovation, but also risks dividing the industry along geopolitical lines. As countries weigh their alliances and supply chains, the aviation sector could become a new front in global competition, with technology and influence at stake. China's next goal, leapfrog to sustainable aviation technologies, like hydrogen and hybrid electric systems. By investing in green propulsion, China aims to shape the future of flight and set new standards for environmental responsibility in aviation. Massive investment and proven execution make China a serious contender for the future of flight. With state support and a growing talent pool, the country is building the infrastructure and expertise needed to compete on a global scale. The roar of the CJ-1000A is more than machinery. It's China's arrival as a global industrial power. It's a symbol of ambition, resilience, and the drive to innovate beyond traditional boundaries. The C919's journey is just beginning, but the world's aviation landscape has changed forever. As the aircraft takes to the skies, it carries with it the hopes of a nation and the promise of a new chapter in global aviation. China has earned its wings, and the world is watching to see how high it will fly. The next decade will reveal whether China can truly reshape the skies and inspire a new generation of aviation pioneers.